All right, so problem one says that from 5 a.m. to 10 a.m., the rate at which vehicles arrive at a certain toll plaza is given by A of T, which is equal to 450 times the square root of the sine of 0.62 T, where T is the number of hours after 5 a.m., and A of T is measured in vehicles per hour. Traffic is flowing smoothly at 5 a.m. with no vehicles waiting in line. Part A. Write, but do not evaluate, an integral expression that gives the total number of vehicles that arrive at the toll plaza from 6 a.m., or t equals 1, to 10 a.m., t equals 5. Okay, so this is pretty simple, actually. All you have to do is set up an integral expression that goes from 1 to 5 of a of t dt. Remember, this is the rate which the cars are arriving. So when you integrate this, you'll get um, the total number of the total number of cars within this interval. So that's that's your answer. So you, because it's not asking to evaluate, so that's all you need to put. So let's look at part B. Find the average value of the rate in which in vehicles per hour at which the vehicles arrive at the toll plaza from 6 a.m. or t equals one to 10 a.m. or t equals five. All right. So average value of the rate. So you're simply just going to multiply this expression by 1 over the length of the integral. So it'll be 1 over the, the length from 1 to 5, which is 1 fourth, so 1 over 4. So then, so this is simply going to be equal to 1 over 4 times integral of a of t, not full. Well, one fourth times yeah times the integral of a of t dt from one to five, and since it's the calculator question, you can just use your calculator to calculate this. Let's go to the calculation tab. Calculus numerical integral from one to five. Let's make sure we enter our expression correctly. The square root of the sine of 0.62, and we'll use x dx. And then we just divide this by 4. And we'll get about 375 or 375. Let's round it to the nearest tenth. So about 375.5369. I'll, I'll write the whole thing, I guess. 69656626. Six, six. I'm going to say vehicles per hour. That's not how you sell vehicles. Okay, part C is the rate at which vehicles arrive at the toll plaza at 6 a.m., increasing or decreasing. Give a reason for your answer. Okay, so you're essentially just going to look at the rate of the rate. I mean, this is the rate of which cars um, are entering the toll plaza. So to figure this out, you're just going to take the derivative of this expression at t equals 1. And if the derivative is positive, then that's saying that the rate is increasing. If the derivative is negative, then that's letting you know that, that the rate is decreasing. So we can, again, we can use our calculator since this is a calculator problem. We don't have to worry about going through a tedious calculation, so we can go ahead and calculate the numerical derivative at at one. First derivative, and we'll have 450. Again, be careful to make sure you enter your expression correctly. You'll get about 148.947. So 
a prime of one. And we can say that increasing sense that the derivative of a of t is positive. Since a prime of one is greater than zero. All right, part D. A line forms whenever a of t is greater than or equal to 400. The number of vehicles in line at time t for a to four is given by this expression, n of t, which is equal to integral from a to t of a of x minus 400 dx. So a is gonna be where um, the line first begins to form and t will probably be, you know, when it, does, when it stops, you know, being above 400. So it's the nearest whole number, find the greatest number of vehicles in line at the toll plaza and the time interval from A to four. Just uh, justify your answer. Okay, so this is gonna be something where we wanna graph A of T, and we're also gonna graph y, the, the, the line Y equals 400. Because you wanna see on what interval does A of T exceed 400. Whenever it's above 400, that means that, you know, the line is forming. And what you can do is, you know, find the integral for that interval whenever A of T is above 400. So let's just graph it so what I'm saying doesn't, you know, sound so confusing. It'll make a lot more sense. So again, we can use the calculated problem. So it makes, makes your life a lot easier. Let's go ahead and graph. Our function again, 450 square root of the sine of 0.62x. Interesting graph. Now let's also graph the line y equals 400. So we can just put this equal to 400. Now you can see that there's this region from here to here where our A of T is above it. So we wanna just integrate this portion right here. So we just gotta find those endpoints first. Then we can just use our calculator to find that integral. So let's analyze this graph for the intersection. Lower bound, we'll say here. So it's at 1.47 on the left, a left and 3.6. Let me just draw a sketch over here so you can we can get a sense of what's 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 going on. So again on the left it's about 1.47. And on the right here, that's about 3.6. And of course, the, the y coordinate is 400. So we just find this area here, or find an integral. Remember, this is a of t. So find an integral of a of t minus 400 from 1.4. Is that four? Did I put four six or four four seven? Four seven, yeah. Okay. So now again, let's go make our lives easier, and and let's go to our calculus function, numerical integral, 1.47. To 3.6, and we're going to evaluate n of t. So 450 sine of 0.62 x. We're going to do minus 400. Let me just double check to make sure there's no mistakes in this. And then this should give us our answer about 71.23. Let me just write the integral here.
And that's all there is to it.